So the regular championship season is now over and that can only mean one thing, the transfer window is right around the corner and the transfer season is back amongst us. Yes guys, we are back for the championship transfer rumour roundup. Already we've got plenty of rumours flying around the championship and of course I want to get you guys involved. If you've seen any other deals or transfer rumours that we don't mention in today's video, make sure to get them in the comments down below. My favourite time of year... And without any further ado, let's hop into the rumours. And we will start out with a little bit of Preston North End news. We recently released our retained list for the season and Tom Barkusen is one player who we are letting go of at the end of the season. A shame really um, how this season has unfolded for Barkusen. A couple injuries sort of sidelining him, not really being a fit into our current system. You know, Barkusen very much seen as a natural winger and we don't usually um, play with naturally wide men. So Barkusen has sort have been cast aside um, for the past 12 or so months and I would expect to see quite a few championship clubs in the hunt for Barcusen but interestingly enough his former manager Alex Neal is currently being talked about for a potential move for Barcusen to Sunderland. I think he'd be a really good fit there. We've seen how good Sunderland were um, in the second half of the season to go ahead and go on that run under Alex Neal and to go ahead and get into the playoffs but he's going to want to take that squad to the next level next season. I think someone like Barcusen would be a brilliant option. As well as Barkusen, Shawnee Maguire is also being talked about for a potential move to Sunderland. Now, Maguire is currently still contracted with Preston. However, there have been some rumblings that we would be happy to listen to offers for Maguire. He's a bit of a weird one, really, because his goal threat these days is pretty much down to zero. But he has changed and adapted the way that he plays. So, you shouldn't really look at him anymore as an out-and-out -out striker like he was when he came into Deepdale. He's more of a sort of number 10 second striker who sort of links the play, does a bit of pressing. He could still offer something to another side like Sunderland who are looking for that type of striker. Now it will come as no surprise to learn that Middlesbrough are in the market for another goalkeeper in this summer transfer window. Arguably the position that's probably been one of their major flaws throughout this season. Joe Lumley came in and did the job but had a few moments of madness and I think that Wilder will be after a reliable number one shot stopper next season and Leicester City's Daniel Everson is exactly that down to a tee. For me personally I think he's been one of the best goalkeepers in the championship this season throughout his loan spell with North End. Even on the last day against Middlesbrough, made some fantastic saves as a potential audition for his new club there. I would be hopeful that North End were in the race if Leicester were happy to let him go out on another loan move. But at this point in time, it does seem pretty unrealistic. And a club like Middlesbrough, who will have more resources than Preston to go out in this transfer window could be Everson's next club. Whoever lands him is getting an absolute bargain. The age he's at, the capabilities, one of if not the best shot stoppers in the championship. I don't have a bad word to say about Everson. He's been so good for us this season. Another goalkeeper that Middlesbrough have been linked to is Newcastle United's Carl Darlow. Expected to be quite a lot of moving parts at Newcastle both in and out this summer with it being the first summer transfer window under the new ownership. We saw how busy January was and I think that this summer transfer window will be that times 10 for Newcastle. So Middlesbrough could look to take advantage of some of those departing players and go after a goalkeeper like Carl Darlow. We've seen him in the championship before and a pretty reliable shot stopper. Joe Rothwell is available on a free transfer this summer and whoever picks him up is going to get an absolute bargain. He was really the creative spark in this Blackburn side and after some of the rumours linking him to you know Bournemouth around deadline day didn't quite materialise in the end. He's now available on a free transfer and the most recent clubs to be linked to Rothwell are both Nottingham Forest and West Brom. No surprise to see that West Brom are after a midfielder of Rothwell's type. I think that that's an area they're going to look to re shuffle a little bit West Brom, a club who I am expecting to be quite busy over this window but a manager like Steve Cooper I particularly think would get the best out of someone like Joe Rodwell so yeah he'll have plenty of choices this summer there's no doubt about that. An interesting one for Preston North End this one next up because we've been linked with the move for Andre Gray who is available on a free transfer after his contract at Watford has now come to an end obviously he's been out on loan this season at QPR where to be honest considering the minutes that he's played 
put up a decent um, goal tally in the end. He started 13 matches, had 15 sub appearances and scored 10 goals for QPR in that time. Some lovely finishes along the way as well. Ryan Lowe has already spoken about wanting players who are ready to go in the championship, who are you know championship proven at this point in time. And Andre Gray is a player who fits that. If you've seen our retain list and how many... Um, plays we've actually let go a couple of them being big earners as well it has freed quite a bit of money up on the wage bill and Preston are expected to busy Andre growing the free transfer I think we could do worse than that if I'm honest I think there's going to be no question about it. Scott Twine is going to be the most in-demand League One player this summer. We've already seen plenty of both Championship and Premier League interest in him. And after the season he's coming off, it's no surprise to see why, obviously. MK Don's unsuccessful in the League One playoffs, losing out to Wickham in the end. So everyone is going to be looking to land Scott Twine on a cup prize. 20 goals, 13 assists this season for MK Dons. He's played absolutely everywhere across the forward line into midfield, but he's predominantly played most of his football in off the left-hand side, and at this point in time, we've seen the likes of Norwich, Burnley, West Brom, Middlesbrough, and Stoke all being talked about. He will take a fair whack of money to go ahead and land, I'm sure, as the competition will continue to hot up between those clubs. But for a 22-year-old to be putting up those sorts of numbers and having the individual performances he's had over the year for MK Dons, whoever lands him is getting a hell of a player. And we're seeing newly promoted Fulham and Bournemouth both being linked with the move to Manchester United goalkeeper Dean Henderson, who looks more than likely to be departing Old Trafford this summer. Now, a potential stumbling block in either of these deals would be Henderson's current wages. I think he's believed to be on just over 100 grand a week, which would be astronomical stuff for either side coming up from the championship. But in terms of the player, I think he'd be a really good fit, particularly at Fulham, to be honest. I think from Bournemouth's perspective, they will look to strengthen all areas of the squad. But I'd like to see Mark Travers being given a go in the Premier League. I personally think he's earned that. But I suppose the business of football and promote, getting promoted to the Premier League, you have to be absolutely ruthless with a position as, as important as the goalkeeper department. For Fulham, I would expect them to be looking into another goalkeeper, obviously. Um, I, I really Really quite like Mark Rodak, but he's had a few inconsistencies, and as been the case with Fulham previously being promoted to the Premier League, this is an area which they usually look into. So I still quite like Dean Henderson. I know his stock's fallen off slightly at Manchester United with him not playing and being the backup to David De Gea, but week in, week out, I think he'd be a good option, particularly Fulham. Gareth Bale's contract with Real Madrid finally comes to an end this summer, and of course we're seeing rumours of him being linked with the move to Cardiff. This would be the romantic transfer transfer for Gareth Bale and as a fan of the championship I for one would absolutely love to see this happening. Ultimately Gareth Bale I think to some degree has fallen out of love with football particularly club football and um, we still see that passion when he's wearing a Wales shirt and we still see him coming up with huge moments for the Welsh national team but to go ahead and rediscover that a little bit I quite like the romanticism of a potential move to Cardiff. Cardiff manager Steve Morrison has also spoke about the potential of this transfer happening and came out with quite a funny quote really saying that it wouldn't be a free pass for him or anything like that and he'd have to buy into a new project happening at Cardiff as if, you know, multiple Champions League winning Gareth Bale doesn't get a free pass at your club. It's Gareth Bale for God's sake. Star power, what he'd bring to Cardiff, even if it was just for a season, what a story that would be however unlikely it may be at this stage. West Brom are said to be optimistic that they can get a deal done for Reading midfielder John Swift obviously his contract's up at the end of this season and I think based on this season John Swift walks into pretty much every championship setup. Double figures for both goals and assists. The sticking point that we've had with Swift over previous years is always related to the injuries and knocks that he tends to pick up but a lot more consistent in terms of that this season and for a side like West Brom who are desperately in need of creativity particularly in the middle of the pitch my god someone like John Swift improves them tenfold in that area 
Jake Clark Salter is a defender who is in demand at this point in time with both Leeds United and Sheffield United being talked about as the next possible destination for the defender. His contract at Chelsea is set to expire at the end of the season. Obviously this season we've seen him out on loan at Coventry and undoubtedly his best loan spell to date. I'm sure that Coventry fans um, will be more than keen to go ahead and get him back for next season but a few big hitters in the race for this one already it would seem. But guys there we have it that will wrap it up for today's video, today's first episode of the Transfer Room Roundup. Plenty will continue to unfold in terms of the transfer window in the Championship over the next few weeks and months. And as always, make sure to have your say in the comments down below. Which are the priority positions that you hope your club are looking into strengthening this summer? And if you have seen any other rumours that we didn't mention in today's video, make sure to get them down below. Apart from that though guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.